the sidewalks where soldiers once held their weapons to protect the compound are now lined with walkers with cars and cyclists. The barbed wire, metal fences and concrete barrier that surrounded the Capitol after the January 6 raid gave way this Saturday to an open plaza full of families lounging on picnic blankets, dogs on leashes and visitors wearing glasses, of sun and hats. Children were running and chasing each other across the grass that led to the steps taken by rioters six months earlier. Groups of families huddled together to take photos in front of the iconic building. Hazel Trimer, 45, of North Carolina, stood along a path in front of the Capitol as her 11-year-old daughter Sophia walked in front of her. He stopped and looked up at the tall building with white pillars. Our democracy, our voices were attacked that day, Trimer said through tears. Our democracy, our voices were attacked that day, work crews began removing pieces from the fence Friday night. The remaining barriers were piled up on trucks and removed with forklifts this Saturday morning. The perimeter had become one of the last remaining symbols of the failed security response to the riots that briefly prevented Congress from confirming President Biden's election victory and resulted in the deaths of five people. The Capitol grounds were meant to be used as a park, a place to stroll, a place to come and enjoy the outdoors, and we wanted to return to that use, said Eleanor Holmes Norton, D, the representative without rights. A vote for the District of Columbia, who worked to bring down the fence.